want to do blackjack first. Um, do you split pairs? Well, it's all a fraud. It's all traffic. But if the dealer has the best time to split pairs, and the dealer shows up five, a four, five, or six. That is the best time. Mm -hmm. And the doubling down, the best time to double down, and you have a count of 11. 7, 4, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, now, in Nevada, well, it doesn't give you any particular edge, it's just a little bit. Today in Nevada, they have a bet for quarter of seven hundred, and they're only sitting two all over the world. And the first time that I broke a bond in my little book, Stoney's Guide to Casino Gambling. Stoney's Guide to Casino Gambling. They had no idea, I mean, no, uh, there's not an operator in Nevada has the slightest idea to know it earns money. They realize that if a player, if a player gets a hand that he believes he's going to bust with, he gets 16 or 15, and he looks at it and says, you can surrender the bet in the house you can 50% of the bet. And the thing is, if you've got 100, they take 50 million dollars. Well, it's for half, right? And I've got a man here from California, and a couple of the casinos, they call him Dr. Surrender. He's a doctor. He's lost over 100, well, I would say roughly, over $100,000 a week, a dozen different times. And you know, what's the big bets on the surrender? He's given half of that money away, so they call him Surrender, and they kind of look at it. Then in the book is the first time this book is on life and Now, this is before, this is where he says he's talking about the river of Spotted Deck and Wild Cars. Now, here's all the Spotted Deck and Wild Cars. During World War II, they call it the Scarlet Ripple. You want a Spotted Deck and Wild Cars, come out of the person who's watching. You take the deck in your hand, you hold it in that portion. And you just flip it. You sort of, remember when you were a kid, you had those animated cartoons? Sure, yeah, yeah. Well, this thing is that the market card, they have to put a mark on the car and the one over on the left and throw the other out. Like, so it's King, King, Jack, and Ken. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, these marks don't stop moving. When you see them moving, then well, that's the bet that's the mark. Mm -hmm. I thought, what is going to do that? <laughs> that's, that's the particular cut, the particular ripple. Now, in World War II, I came up with a cut. What's the move? During World War II, what did you guys use it? And it's usually going in an awful lot of spots. Like, for example, now you take the ace of spades there. And you give the deck a cut, right? This is what we call a running cut. You always have a deck to sit on top. Now, to be able to prevent that from happening, if the deck is stacked, it doesn't like that. This is a cut that everyone should use if they're playing cards and they suspect it, even when they don't suspect it. Instead of cutting the cards in this way, you have to action. You know, you take the first part of the center, take the first part of the front, and then you cut them the way you look at it. Or you take them out, you put them on a top, and you cut them the way you look at it. No matter what kind of a stop there is, that is not a 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 that is not well, let me ask you about dice before you're out of time, John. Yeah. What, are, what are bad bets and good bets at a crack table? Well, there are about 40 different bets at a dice table. That's a little, that's a little bit confused. Yeah. So many well, there are propositions that we call it one row of bets, like getting the two aces coming out of one row that they were played with one and sometimes coming out of the one. Now, what really is bets on that table, though? There's only one bet that's really good. And they're advertising that they call double odds in the bottle and all the marquees. A number of them, not all of them. But if the casino had any players that would pull back, they'd have to close up. And the bet is this. The pass line, you know, that long string that's marked by the pass line, that one has, that has 1.414 against you, which means it's 22.50% against you, which is 7 cents on five hours. That's what the house takes, but it's in hidden. You don't see it. Now, after you make that wager, you're entitled to bet the same amount of money back in the end. So that's right. So what that does, three bets, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's a free bet, so therefore, it reduces that 1.25 down to 0.864, which means it's only 4 fifths of 1%, less than 1% you are putting. That means if you bet $100, it's going to cost you the dollar, which is very insignificant for the entertainment of the casino. So that is the best bet. And you let one bet on the table. Now, 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 you the hard eight, the hard six, the hard ten, the hard four, the eleven, the seven. If you've been there, Tom, the pass line and four odds oh, the, behind. Oh, the don't pass line. Uh, but uh, if we all did that, we wouldn't have much we money. Okay, but would you say it one more time? Forget those bets. Uh, 
Now we've got only a buck. We've got a another one here, a buck and three sixes and two races. And about a sixteen and two thirds for some of them. Yes, the casino operators love those buddies. They love them. Undoubtedly. Now, uh, we have, I've got 30 seconds. I'm going to do a concert. All right, do a concert. Pick one up. Who would like to end up? You look at it. All right. Go ahead. And I'm going to take, I'm going to give this stuff a little cut and take the tour behind it. Take the tour behind it. I'm going to take that little tour of hearts. Watch what I do. I'm going to have it jump over there. I'm going to have that one jump. I think this falls in my web like that. Mm -hmm. I snap my finger. Just jump over there. Yes. Yeah. It's no longer there. It's a contest. I think so. Good. <laughs> You know, when they showed you the world's greatest, they went wrong. Thank you, John. I have to go good night. My guest is to Mr. John Stone in his newest book, the 23rd book, not the 13th, but the 23rd is called The Stone's Complete Guide to Casino Gambling. John is very difficult. Casino Gambling.